The Motorola Edge 30 Fusion is the latest premium smartphone priced under Rs 45,000. It aims to strike the right balance by offering flagship grade hardware wrapped in a premium body. With a bunch of premium devices fighting for the top spot under Rs 50,000, is the Motorola Edge 30 Fusion the real deal? We find out. The Motorola Edge 30 Fusion is one of the best smartphones in the segment when it comes to offering a great in-hand feel. The edges of the display and the glass back curve into the aluminium frame, which also gives the phone a premium look. It is also fairly light at 179 grams and slim at just 7.45 mm, making it one of the thinnest premium smartphones in India. The Cosmic Grey color option looks very premium even from a distance and there's also a solar gold option. The rear glass also has a matte texture which helps keep fingerprints and smudges at bay. The phone is also IP52 rated for some basic protection against water and dust. You don't get a headphone jack but the Motorola S30 Fusion offers a stereo speaker setup. The power and volume buttons on the right side are easy to reach and provide good feedback. Coming to the display, the Motorola S30 Fusion offers a 6.55 inch POLED screen with a Full HD Plus resolution. The phone offers a smooth scrolling experience thanks to a 144Hz refresh rate. The display is great for consuming content, courtesy of the vivid colors and thin bezels. Outdoor legibility under direct sunlight is also very good thanks to the 1100s of peak brightness. For biometrics, there is an AI face unlock and an in-display fingerprint reader. The latter worked well and was quick to authenticate and unlock the phone. However, the scan is placed too low in the display for my liking. The Motorola S30 Fusion features a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Plus SoC and comes in a single variant with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The phone can handle pretty much any task that you throw at it. In day-to-day -day usage, the performance of the Motorola S30 Fusion was quite smooth. Popular Battle Royale games such as Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt Line Legends ran well on medium to high settings and the phone got only a little warm after about 30 minutes of gameplay. The overall output of the zero speakers is also quite rich and loud and even at full volume there isn't any distortion. There is a 4400mAh battery packed inside the phone which can last for a full day depending on your use case. On days when I played a lot of demanding games, I got a little more than 5 hours before it had to be charged. On days with lighter use which included basic web browsing, scrolling through social media etc, the H30 Fusion breached the 6 hour screen on time mark. In our battery loop test, the phone lasted for about 13 hours and 40 minutes which is slightly below average. In terms of charging, the phone took about an hour to charge from 0 to 100 percent with the bundled 68 watt fast charger. The Motorola S30 Fusion runs on the Android 12 based MyUX skin out of the box which offers a near stock Android experience. These include motor gestures, custom wallpapers, personalization options etc. Motorola is promising two major Android updates and three years of security support for the H30 Fusion. The H30 Fusion packs some good camera hardware but missed out on a telephoto camera. The phone has a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 30 megapixel ultrawide camera with autofocus, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor on the back. For selfies, there is a 32 megapixel front camera. Daylight performance from the main rear camera is quite good as photos are fairly sharp and offer good details. The HDR performance is also very good as it does not blow the highlights in a bit to retain details in the shadows. While color accuracy is generally good, the main camera messes up the skin tones. You either get a fairer skin tone or portraits with a hint of red hue on the subject's face. In low light, the main camera produces good details in the shadows along with an even exposure. I liked how the camera's algorithm did not make the night sky look artificially blue which has been the case with other smartphones. In extreme low light conditions, the algorithm aims at exposing the shadows well but introduces noise along with it. The ultrawide camera does a decent job but there is distortion around the edges of the frame. The color temperature is also slightly on the cooler side compared to the main camera. Macro photos from this camera look good. Selfies taken with the Motorola H30 Fusion are detailed and look good but again, the software messes up with the skin tones. Photos taken in portrait mode look good and the phone does a great job with edge detection. In terms of video, the rare main camera can shoot up to 8K 30fps. It produces good colors and dynamic range. The ultrawide and the selfie cameras can record up to 4K 30fps videos. Video quality is decent during the day and in low light. The Motorola S30 Fusion is quite a good offering that looks stylish and has good features. The phone packs premium hardware and offers a great user experience. The camera offers good performance, but it needs a little bit of software tweaking in order to do proper justice to the hardware. I also wish there was a higher storage option since the internal storage is not expanded. 
The H30 Fusion is also slightly expensive at Rs. 4299 compared to most other phones with the Snapdragon 888 Plus SoC. In fact, its premium sibling, the Motorola H30 Pro, is often on sale for the same price, making it a much better deal since you get a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, wireless charging and a better set of cameras. However, if you want a slim and lightweight design along with a sturdier aluminium frame, the Motorola H30 Fusion is a great choice.